Studies have shown that one in four people have had sleep problems at a point in their lifetime. And financial stress, like any other stressors, can have a significant effect on the quality of your sleep because worries about finances, expenses, and debts can cause increased stress hormones, which makes it difficult for you to relax and fall asleep. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five tips you can practice to get a good night's sleep, even when financial worries or any other kind of worry to keep you up at night. Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Temi Tokpe Oyetsuji, a practicing family physician with over 10 years of practice. Sleep problems is a common complaint I get daily. And when anyone complains of having trouble sleeping, the first question I ask them is if they have anything troubling them. Because it's not uncommon to have financial problems keep people up at night. But financial problems is not the only thing that keeps people up at night. Marital problems, problems at work, even the problems of Nigeria or thinking about Jackba can keep you up at night. All these stressors are a part of life. And even if you're not experiencing poor sleep right now, I can tell you that it could be one of those four people who would experience poor sleep at a point in their lifetime. So how can you still get a good night's sleep in presence of the stressors? Number one, it starts with your environment. It would help if you created a conducive environment for sleep. You need to ensure that the room is dark or dimly lit, minimize noise distraction, maintain a cool room temperature, and keep your room tidy. Now, this is where somebody asks me that, what if I live in Nigeria and my neighbor's generator would not allow me to sleep? Or what if I don't have AC and my room is hot? Keep watching and I'll provide answers to that. Number two, calm down. Stress is one of the commonest causes of poor sleep. So if you want to sleep well, you need to be calm and relaxed. The period before sleep is not the period to check your account balance, especially if there's no money there. It's not the time to check news online or think about your ex. These are bad pre-sleeping habits. So what are some habits that can help you relax at bedtime? Turn off all screens about an hour before bed. And when I say screens, I mean television screens, laptop screens, and phone screens. When people complain about sleep problems, after I've asked them if they have anything troubling them, the next thing I ask is if they use their phones in bed. And most of the time they answer in their affirmative. The problem with that is that, apart from the fact that using your phone before sleep stimulates your brain and delays sleep, studies have shown that exposure to the blue light which your phone emits can disrupt your sleep-wake cycle and contribute to poor sleep. Other good habits that can help you to relax at bedtime include taking a bath, and engaging in relaxation techniques which can be different for different people. For some people, it's praying. For others, it's meditation or words of affirmation. And that brings me to the question of what you can do if, for instance, your neighbor's generator keeps you up at night or you don't have AC and your room is hot. If that is your situation, what you need to do is when you get in bed, imagine yourself making enough money to move into a neighborhood where they use inverters instead of generators. Or if Japa is what you're planning, simply imagine yourself in the serene environment of the US of E or the U of K. In other words, try to think of something that relaxes you. That is not a time to curse Nigeria or curse the government. That won't relax you, okay? Number three, maintain a consistent sleep schedule. If you sleep at a specific time every day and wake up at a specific time every day, you are more likely to have a good night's sleep every day, even if you owe money. Number four, avoid caffeine and spicy meals before bed. This is another common cause of poor sleep that I come across in practice. If you go to bed within three hours of eating a spicy meal, then you are likely to suffer sleep disruptions because of acid reflux, especially if you're prone to it. Number five, use your bed for only sleep and sex. This is so that your body can associate the bed with sleep. So that once you get on your bed, your body knows it's time to shut down and sleep. So if you find that you can't sleep within 20 minutes of getting in bed, then you need to get out of bed. Instead of tossing and turning, you need to get out of bed, sit in a chair, avoid screens, and then you can do something like reading a boring book, writing in a journal, or drawing. If that's your thing. Practice these five things and I guarantee you, you will get a good night's sleep 
even if you hold the government. And a bonus tip for you, especially if your sleep problems are caused by financial troubles, it's essential for you to set realistic financial goals. Take some time during the day, not at night, to assess your financial situations and set reasonable financial goals. Create a budget, stay created, and that may just be enough to alleviate some of the stress that you are exposed to because of financial worries. And that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more content like this. I'm the good Nigerian doctor. Stay healthy and God bless Nigeria.